You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us I don't know what made me just think of this, but do you guys remember when I used to have this was like 20, probably 14-ish era. I had this big, white, uh, beautiful cabinet that was always behind me in my videos. And I always had it like really cute and like decorated for whatever holiday season. Like what happened to that, Brittany? She had to go, but um, <laughs> the cabinet didn't. I remember when I, my boyfriend from college and I broke up, I moved out of, like he took the apartment and for whatever reason, I was just like, this is like way too overwhelming to transport and take with me. So I gave it to him. And really thinking back on it, it would have just been like a few screws and I could have taken it apart. And I wish I would have, that thing was expensive. I got that on, what am I doing? Where am I going? I got that on that site, is it Hope Look? No, that was, that's a subscription. What is that? It's still around. Maybe it is Hope Look. I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking of that. I think it's because I feel like I want, I can't wait until we're in a spot where I just feel okay collecting things again when it comes to holidays. But we've moved around so much in the last, what, three and a half years that I don't feel like I can have things yet. So when once I get to the point where I don't think we're going to be moving across the country again in the um, next five years. I'm going to start collecting things again and have like cutesy, but I'm still like kind of minimalistic in what I want to have in my life. Um, anyways, whoa, that's off track. This is an Ipsy video. <laughs> if you can't tell, we have three boxes. One is an Ipsy glam bag, which you all know, uh, if you've been around for a long time, and even if you haven't, hi, welcome, my name's Brittany, and I do things, uh, really mainly just small business stuff right now, because, like, that's the season of my life that I'm in, but I also really enjoy subscription boxes, but I have toned it down, um, especially because I've moved around a lot, like, I had to get rid of a lot of things, and I just never added them back, um, because I really don't need them, and if you can't tell, I just don't wear enough makeup for it to make sense. But Ipsy has a forever spot in my heart, especially when it comes to skin. Like, they give you such good stuff in full size. And, um, on, like, truly, I know, like, these I get sent to me, but I bought them when they weren't sent to me. And if they stopped sending them to me, I'd still want them. I think if I had to pick one that's my favorite, and that would be my forever keeper, would be, uh, the, probably the Glam Bag Plus box. They call it boxy charm now. Okay, this is the glam bag. Uh, this is like sample sizes, which is actually really good if you're new into makeup and skincare. The first thing that did not fit in the bag, which by the way, this is the largest zipper I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Hello, you could just carry this around like that. This is really plush and soft though. I like that bag. This is a brush. It's a makeup brush, a very thick eyeshadow brush. That is a big boy. This is by Beauty For Real and it's a concealer brush. Okay, not an eyeshadow. You could you can use it for whatever you want. I never probably use my brushes correctly. The next thing I'm pulling out by Estate, which I feel like we have had this brand a lot in Ipsy's, especially recently. This is the Most Wanted Mascara. I'm pretty sure it's a mascara. It doesn't say it, does it? I don't think I see anything on here, but I'm gonna guess it is. So I'm starting Accutane November 30th. This will go up before then. And I am praying that somehow it helps with my eye pimples that I get when like, I just constantly get them over using beauty products, using skincare, using, uh, I think it's even just like, it's more of an allergic reaction and I'm not quite sure what it is to yet, but I don't know how, but maybe if it could help, I'm not sure. I've tried not to Google too much in Accutane to not scare myself. And I'm not saying I didn't ever look into it. I've been looking into Accutane since I was in my twenties and then I'm just finally now doing it. So it's not like a spur of the moment decision as much as it may seem like it. Um, it's just like a, I'm ready decision. 
this is, oh, thank the Lord. I fell in love with Benefit's brow uh, wax. It's what I have on now. I bought the full, like I loved it so much. I went out and bought the full size. That like rarely happens. Um, but I got it from an Ipsy. Like I realized I loved it because of an Ipsy bag. And I saw this one right next to the brow gel when I was in my Target looking at it. And I was like, maybe I should get that. And I didn't, but now I have it. This is ugh, the, for sure. Like even if I get a full size of like something really awesome, I'm going to be most excited for this because I want to try it. The brow setter. So like on the um, sheet, the info sheet on it and Target, it said that this is gives you like a laminated brow feel, which I feel like the wax, I'm using the wax. That's what it does. My favorite brow product I've ever used. So I will test this out and let you guys know, but for sure the Benefit Brow Wax, it's amazing. Love it. And then we have, oh, a full size? Sonage, the new natural hydrating my baby is right outside the window. He's a baby. The hydrating mist. For your face, a burst of radiance sets makeup. This might not be full size because that's pretty small. Maybe it is, I don't know, a hydrating mist. I don't have makeup on, but might as well. It smells like oranges. That smells good. Winter time, you're, you need a face hydration. Okay, okay, okay. I really appreciated, I had a mist that I used when I was uh, recovering from my C-section. I've told the story many times, but if you go and have give birth doesn't matter what kind of birth uh take a mist with you because when you get hot it feels so good to cool you down i didn't have air conditioning in my room for the first two days so i definitely needed it this is a leave-in cream for your hair it's a heat guard by sutra beauty okay. i always use a leave-in conditioner uh, my favorite is by kenra yeah uh but i haven't had repurchase it in a while because I'm trying to go through some of the ones that Ipsy always gives me. Uh, so I will try this. And it, it's a heat protectant. I don't use heat on my hair very, 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 very rarely. Uh, but it's nice to have, I guess. So those were the Ipsy products. Definitely 100% worth it. Oh, ooh, so good. Next, we are going to take a little sippy sip of my uh, Alani New. This is the Kim Aid. Which is very good. Hate Kim, if you will. I love skin. I love their brands. They do a wonderful job with their products. I actually have somewhere right here. I have a Sims package that I got my niece some PJs from because they have little kid PJs. Okay, next we're going into Boxy Charm. And that means we're in full-size product territory now. We have three boxes. This, I'm gonna have to start speeding this up because I don't want a 40-minute Ipsy box. <gasps> Lacutane. Oh yes, this is shea butter cream, light comforty cream, light comforting cream. I like this store. When you see the standalone stores, they always look so luxurious. Where I don't even want to go inside. So I'm like. I'm not gonna be able to like afford this stuff. I, it's not that bad, but it's like you go in, at least for me, and like you could maybe get one product, but you want all of them. Ingrid, she was like an OG beauty guru that I used to watch, loved. I think the oil was her favorite. Okay, it has a lid on it. This, like this is a nice package. This is luxurious. If you, someday I aspire to just have a full collection of this on my counter and like that be the brand that I use. But like I'm, seasons of life, I am in clean and clear still. I've been in that season since I was 12. So I actually just bought a <laughs> oh, dual pack clean and clear day and night, um, not moisturizer, cleanser from Walmart when, uh, during our grocery trip yesterday <laughs> by, oh my goodness, the brands they've been adding, Anastasia, okay, they've had this one, like, let's be real, but uh, the fact that, I, 
I've gotten a lot of this stuff now. Anastasia Beverly Hilly Hills Satin Lipstick Ooh, in the color Taupe Beige. This looks beautiful. Can I become a lipstick girl? If I ever become one, satin would definitely be one that I would start with because this is so pretty. Because satin is not, I just don't think I'd ever be a matte girly, but this like has kind of a moisturizing finish to it, a sleeker finish. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm keeping it. I know I usually get rid of my lipsticks because I'm like, I'm not gonna use it, but like the really pretty ones, I keep just to like tempt myself into uh, becoming that person. Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Body Cream. I have been going through a Gloss Modern, I wanna say a leave-in treatment, but body cream I could always use. I don't wanna open, it doesn't really have a scent to it, but there's also a uh, little thing cappy on top, so I might not be able to smell it. Okay, I need to stop saying the word okay and wonderful. <laughs> La Palette, La Palette Beauty <laughs> Hydra Blue Petal Serum Toner. It's just a face toner and it's supposed to do moisturize. Yeah, I think it's just supposed to like hydrate your skin. Cool, I love toners. Um, I love my clean and clear toner, but I can maybe get into that. And lastly by Destiny, mm -hmm. read that. What I've been doing recently is like, um, cause I obviously have a lot of products that I will never use. And like, I, I know that and I don't want to keep things that I know I'm not going to be able to get through by the time they like expire. So what I've been doing is, um, so I sell on Etsy and I sell, oh, by the way, this is one of my new holiday designs. It's a really cute checkered print cold and I have it in this beige color too. But what I've been doing is, uh, when I sell on Etsy, they're pricing because I don't have free shipping. Sometimes when someone buys something, they end up spending a lot more because of shipping. So I always add in like a little goodie with it. And I am almost down to, I just have a few things left. And because I sold a ton of ghost cups and with all of my like orders that did not have free shipping, even a lot of them that did, uh, I just like added things into it, which has been like making me feel better about getting all these products that I won't use them all, if that makes sense. So like this, this is an eyeshadow palette. I know I'm not going to use it because like I said, my eyes have been like really suffering with allergies these last five years. Uh, I just, unless it's a special event, I don't wear eye makeup. Like, my wedding was the last time I wore eyeshadow. Sometimes, again, if it's, like, really pretty, I will keep it. But there's only so many really pretty things I can keep. This is so cute. This packaging, how do you even open it? I don't want to hurt it because this isn't going to be mine. These are beautiful. This reminds me of a vacation. It kind of reminds me of like something Tarte would put out. My cat is trying to get into that little box right now. Get out, please. So that was the Glam Bag Plus. No, that was the Boxy Charm. I'm never going to get used to that. Favorite item. Okay, these both. Stop saying that word. These, that's a really simple word and I keep saying it. Both of these I'm so stoked for. But this is going to be the winner for the boxy charm. Dare I say, a little more exciting than the brow. Just because, like, that, there's this nostalgia with it. Okay, and lastly, we have the Ipsy X. And that means it is the collab box. The, what do they call this? Is it called the Ipsy X? The icon box. It was right on the package. <laughs> And the icon box only comes quarterly, but there's eight full size full size products in this one, and it's always crazy good. The Alicia Keys one was my favorite, and I went through all of it, so I don't even have any of her stuff anymore, and it was really good. So, right inside here it is. Give you a little peeky peek. The ooh, Patchology Flash Patch Patches Gel Illuminators. I squealed like I knew what it was. I thought it was gonna be acne patches. 
mattresses, which by the way, do not work for me. I look like a crazy person with them. Are they for your eyes or are they for your rings? Eye gels. So they just come with a bunch of patches in here. Cool. I will use them. It is a really cute package. It's plastic and really bright. And next, aloe yoga again. I spent so much time being like, is that aloe yoga last time or is it just aloe? Uh, it is aloe yoga. I was just on their site. They're doing 30% off for single stay. It's probably over by now. This is the Glow System Super Fruit Moisturizing Body Lotion. Another body lotion. Really good because I actually am out of all my body lotions. So now I have two. <laughs> by Tatcha. No way. Stop. This is the best month I think I've ever had with them. The rice wash. This stuff. One, it's like really well rated. Two, it's um, really, like from what I read, good for uh, sensitive skin. And three, it's very expensive. Like I wanted it before and I could not like bring myself to buy it. And Ipsy just like handing it out I mean obviously you buy the box but like the value compared to what you're spending I'm so excited and this stuff is always really pretty looking like this collection same with like the Locatane. I don't say that correctly you're probably screaming at the screen uh I would be fine just having this out on my counter if I could have a full collection of this someday I would um anywho Danessa Myrick's beauty the dew wet balm highlighting face and body balm i feel like this is going to be very cool oh it's in the color rose water there is a protective sheet on it let's open it oh this is pretty i'm gonna put that down that's just like not working for me can you even if this is out of focus <laughs> that's so pretty okay i'm keeping this because I can see myself just using this without makeup and just like on my cheeks. Kind of like I, I use the a Drunk Elephant, the rosy cheeks. I love that stuff. And when that's out, I will use that afterwards. Okay, two, two more things left. We have, this is beautiful packaging. PML, PM. What is that? Pat McGrath. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Oh, I love this brand. She has the most beautiful glitters ever. I had a Pat McGrath Lab um, highlighting kit before. Is that how I want to say it? I don't, I don't remember what it was, but I remember it being so stunning. And... Then my eye allergies happened shortly after and I like got rid of like pretty much every single makeup item I used because I could not figure out what was causing it. Little did I know everything was causing it. It wasn't old makeup that was causing it. So this is a mascara, the Dark Star Mascara and it's in extreme black. And I know mascara for sure hurt, like irritates my eyes. But there's no way I'm not going to try this. So like whenever my next makeup day will be, hello, I will try you. And the very, no, just kidding. Two more things. Wow. By Lissa Beauty. This is the Glossy Lip Treatment Duo. I have a friend named Alyssa and she goes by Liss and like I've been giving her the Liss stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just because it's her name um these are lip glosses in speak love oil asher you can hear him crying and then ooh, this is pretty this is a dark oil too they're both beautiful do i want to keep this i don't know if i'll be able to get through it i have the weirdest allergic reaction on my lips and my hand and that's because whatever i had on my lips i wiped on my hand my hand um bumped up and for a week it was like all red bumpy and itchy and then my lips the same thing so uh, still working out what that was because that was a 
pretty intense reaction and I had it again on my upper lips that one's just starting to go away that one wasn't quite as bad as having it like right on like my lips so um yeah we're working out that issue <laughs> the last two things I have Murad <sighs> rapid collagen infusion such a great skincare line and I feel like this is one of the lines that actually like I've noticed work. Their dark spot corrector I really liked on like my acne scar healing and the dark spots. So this is supposed to make you more youthful and have like a filler like effect. I have not had Botox. I don't really plan on having Botox. Will I ever do it? I can't say yes or no to it. Um, but for the meantime, I'm fine trying things like this to deal with aging, which I feel like I've been doing pretty well so far. I just don't really move my forehead much. I never have. I think that has helped me in life. I think so. Um, and lastly, by Ace Beauty, this is a hydrating face primer. Not really a primer person anymore just because I don't... Like, primer you can use on its own. I just don't ever really do it. Every once in a while I will. But I have enough primers in my stash. I think I have like one or two where I know I'm not going to go through them in time. So this is going to be one of those like freebie add-ins. Um, awesome. I have been ecstatic and joyful over every single one of these boxes bags this month. I hope if you had an Ipsy, no matter which one you had, it was as delightful as mine were because I loved these. Holy Moses. Last time I said that, it might have been last month. I think every month, like, they've been adding in new, like, fun, exciting things where... I think it's just been really good. Okay. My absolute favorite goes to, I'm gonna just do the face lotion. I have to. A uh, second would definitely go to the brow. And that is everything. I have to go because my camera keeps turning off. And I will see you guys soon. Definitely soon. I have a lot of like studio vlogs in the works. So I'll see you in my next video. I just need to clear my head.